Howdy folks, Moose here. Exciting week. Calibrite just released their brand new monitor calibration software. And it is really, really sweet. It is for some, if they had the old iProfiler update, for you it might be brand new. If it's an update, it's only a $9.99 deal. It's killer. But what it brings to the table is the ability to easily calibrate your monitor. Why do you cal your calibrate your monitor? We all do it for different reasons. Mine is very simplistic. Consistency. I was taught from the get-go that I wanted to have a consistency in all my digital workflow. That meant that I had to have something calibrated to fall back on and say that is the true color and true exposure. Hence the calibrating of the monitor. Now my desktop monitor, which is an iMac uh, M1, gets calibrated every Tuesday morning. I've been calibrating my main desktop library computer on Tuesday morning since the very beginning, long time. The MacBook Pro, it gets done every three weeks. What am I looking for? Well, when I look at my digital images, I'm not a numbers kind of guy. I look at that monitor to tell me about exposure and color, if it's right or wrong. That's how I learn from my mistakes and how I improve on what I've already done correct. And then when I go into the digital dark room, I'm not a numbers kind of guy there either. I am going to look at that monitor and from there make the decisions what needs to be done to finish that photograph. Hence, using Calibrite since day one to give me that consistency week after week after month after year after decade. Now, a couple things we need to do before we get going. Keep in mind that this is just how I'm doing it. Been doing it forever, how I was taught by the people who know this stuff. I am not a, a electrical color wizard by any stretch of the imagination. So if I say some term you don't know, go to the old Google and type it in there and see what's happening. First, I'm going to start with opening up that monitor and letting it warm up for at least 15 minutes, at least. Okay, that's kind of important. Next, I'm going to make sure that the computer, like the MacBook Pro, is actually plugged into the wall. You don't want to be doing this off the battery. Okay, that's some of the, the basics. Uh, the iMac, obviously, is plugged in all the time. Then what? Well, we know you, I'm going to talk strictly about the Mac here. You're Windows people. You're going to, have to figure out some of this for yourself. Not too hard. But in the Mac, I'm going to go to the settings. I'm going to go to display. I want to make sure, for example, the automatically adjust brightness and true tone are unchecked. That's really important. Okay, I want to be in control. That's why I'm doing the profile. Make sure also that when you go to night shift, okay, it is off. Because when you do that, you're good to go. So let's say we have waited our 15 minutes. We're going to bring up our Calibrite and we're going to get ready to create that profile. Now a couple of things, okay, to, to start with. I am using the um, Color Checker Display Pro. It serves me really well. Small, light, very effective. I'm going to select the advanced on the monitor type. Then you notice there's a bunch of circles that come up across the top. Many of them are already set to the default. For example, I'm using the, the Papa Foxtrot C error, the PSF Phosphorus setting for my monitor. I'm using the D65, which has been the standard forever. Everything's the default. And I go all the way across to the very last item on the checklist, the far right. And I'm going to make sure that I'm selecting the advanced 461 patches. With that clicked, I go on the word and click next and start measurement. It's that simple. Now you're going to see an option and it depends on your monitor. Uh, the iMac doesn't have this option. So I'm just having it, the Calibrite software do the brightness only, the RGB in contrast. I'm going to let this profiler deal with that. Click on continue. I've put the monitor on the screen. This is really important. See this box here in the top right corner? Yeah, you don't want your, your um, device reading this direction. You want to make sure it's flush in there so no ambient light or anything else can get in there and confuse it. Click on Next. You're going to give it a second. It's going to tell you your brightness. So I'm shooting for a target at 120. It's at 128. Well, within... Uh, 
calibration. Click on the word next, click start measurement, and then the light show begins. Now one change uh, from the previous is the whole monitor used to be this color. Now just that target area is gonna show you that color. And it's gonna go literally through all those 461 patches, a whole bunch. Now I could be really cruel and just make you watch this light show, but it takes about six or seven minutes. Uh, so from right here, we're just gonna go to uh, fast forward mode as it goes and creates the profile. probably didn't know there was that many colors your monitor could display, did you? We're getting down to the end. Make sure you look at that big message that says, leave calibrator in the circle. Don't touch it until it is completely done. Finishing up with some of the most important colors, black and white, those really important colors for our vision and for our photography and our printing and everything. So it's gonna wrap it all up. And when it's done, you'll see it says, remove device from display and Replace the diffuser over the lens. Not hard to do. Click on the word next. You can see all the patterns and the patches there. It's pretty amazing thinking that this software is creating those colors, looking at them, measure them, and then creating the profile. And then you simply click on the word save, and you're golden. You're all done. That's all there is to it. So this is the brand new Calibrite Profiler software. It works with your old digital uh, yeah, the old profiler, and it's just a marvelous thing to do. So I hope this helps. Hope you calibrate, learn from your own photography. You can be better. Remember to make every click your story.